Jolene Sugar Bay. She's my trailer park Jolene queen. Sugar yeah. Bay. She's my trailer park Jolene queen. Sugar Bay. Here's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. Hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and today we're going to be doing a Trailer Park craft. And I know y'all have been wanting one for a while, so this is one that I bring out around the holidays, and I love giving these as gifts. And what we're going to be making today is based off the Native American, they call them dream webs, and I've made them into little ornaments, and I'm using the little grapevine wreath. Look at that. Isn't that cute? And the feathers and the jewels there and some glitter. And it's just a cute little project that you can do here at home. And what you're going to need is a grapevine wreath. And these are little mini wreaths you can get at the craft store. You can use a big one too, but that's going to take you a while to do that. And this is called wax linen. And um, the Indians used cat gut or deer gut or something like that, and I don't recommend using that because that's, um, that's gross, actually, but that's what they used, and they didn't have a local craft store, so that's what they had to use. And it comes in black, and it comes in like a natural, too, and um, you can use any color. You can make them for Halloween, or you can make them for... Um, you know, Christmas or Hanukkah or any of those um, little things to hang on anywhere, really. So what you're going to do is start with the grapevine wreath. You're going to take off, I don't know, just about, about that much. I don't know, just a long bit there. Cut that off. And you're going to take the grapevine wreath and you're going to knot it on there, just like that. And you're going to make sure that it's tight there. You can put a piece of glue on it later. There we go. There we go. And we're going to jiggle it down to the bottom. So you've got it started just like that. Now, you're going to take this and loop it around. And then come back around. And then you're going to pull it through just like that. So you've got a loop around the grapevine wreath, just like that. And you're going to pull real tight. And because it's the wax linen, it's going to grab hold of it, just like that. And you can do as many as you want um, around the little grapevine wreath here. And you got to hold the other one while you're doing the other one. And, pull it across and this is a great craft for kids. Kids can do this too um, if you watch them and you can just, there we go, round the, there and you're just going to keep going around until you've gone all the way around till you get to the other one that you started with. There we go. I'm at the last one till it hits the other one. And then I'm just going to loop it through that one instead around the grapevine wreath. There we go. And pull that around. There we go. And then I'm just going to pull that tight too. All right. Now, we're just going to go from each loop with the core. And go round. There we go. I've gotten to the center here with the um, actual loops. And depending on how many you have around the, the hoop is how much pattern you have in the middle so it can be different each time and um, I'm gonna knot it off here in the middle and then I'm gonna put some glue on it um, so it doesn't come unraveled there but that's your um, hoop with your web there in the middle and now we're gonna decorate it decorating your ornament is really simple all you need is a glue gun and you can just start gluing things you find around your house like, I found some of these jewels. We'll just 
glue one of those on there. And I like feathers. So we'll just glue two feathers to that. We'll stick that in the glue just like that. There we go. And you can tie a hoop up there on top so you can hang it. You can put it on your um, rear view mirror in the car or you can put it on your Christmas tree. I like to spray glitter on it and you can get the large hoops actually and you can do the large grapevine wreath and I like to use this big um, kind of floss, kind of silver floss and I make a little spider in the middle. It looks like a spider web and you can paint this whatever you like. You can just keep gluing things to it and old earring pieces you can glue to it and they really do make a great gift. Look at that. Here's one all finished and complete and you know the Indians said that they caught all the um, the um, bad dreams too. You could put beads even there if you want to string those on in there. But it's just a cute little ornament to give away to your friends, especially around the holidays. I hope you get a chance to make them, and if you do, send me a picture at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's uh, trailer there. And um, don't forget to subscribe. I've got some more cooking shows right around the corner. I love y'all, and I hope you have fun um, crafting the trailer park way. I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye.